Hey, welcome to a foreigner in the Philippines. Just going to give you uh, a quick walk around, just a, a, a quickie, uh, just to show you how the house of uh, James and Jessica is coming along. Mostly they've been looking at just tidying up around the area. Uh, we're at that point now where we're going to go and do concreting on the whole thing, but I'll stop talking or stop showing my ugly face and let you have a look. So, if you can see they've leveled out a lot of this area here, all at the back, and all of these here, and I think they've taken quite a bit of the, the soil from the back here to take it down level. Sorry, I'm trying to watch my step because this has uh, had a, a fall of rain and it is actually quite slippy. Slippery. I'm beginning to talk like Beth. Slippy. No such word. As you can see, they filled in with concrete. They filled those pillars in and they are all ready now to receive that whole concrete belt that goes around. All filled in and all of that rebar is ready to be wrapped around and incorporated into that I've forgotten somebody did tell me what what the name was for that particular uh, part of the construction I'm not accustomed to that but they shutter that up with plywood make it into a box that goes around the top and then they fill that box, it's an open, open top box, and they fill it with concrete and rebar. So that's where they are right now. And they've got this pretty well leveled out. Some of those uh, weak uh, blocks that I, uh, somebody said it was like a karate demonstration, but you can see here, these, uh, they're not worth a damn, some of those. You see that? So what they've done is they've used that as infill for some of this on the ground. And I've actually got some of the rebar put in, I think more to keep it out of the way than anything else. But that rebar will be crisscrossed into, uh, into a square pat a pattern of squares and it will all tie in. It still always comes back, doesn't it, to this beautiful view. You can see that they've been dumping extra soil here, especially around this one uh, area here. And all of this soil removal and shifting, it's all done by hand, you know. It's not, um, <laughs> it's not an easy one. It's all done by hand, by wheelbarrow. And that's it. Yeah, James and I agreed we would love to have seen a 6 inch or an 8 inch block around the whole thing. Not easily available. But then all of this here will be double skinned. Uh, unlike what we would do in the, uh, in the UK. In the UK if they did a double skin like this there would be there would be a, a, something like a, four, a three or four inch gap that would be there in between. So it would be what we would call a cavity wall. And most houses, well, I think, I think the code is that all houses that are built certainly now are cavity walls. Helps with insulation, with damp, the whole thing. And it just makes for a stronger construction. Because in between the two cavities, you put these two if I use this as a demo, let's say that that's our wall and there's a cavity in between. 
a lot of the time they'll actually put a fiberglass insert into that, panels of fiberglass. But what they'll also do is they'll take a wire, a wire figure of eight, and the figure of eight will go like that. And it will join these two walls together. So that there's, if you look at my hand and say that my hand is a figure of eight, there's a figure of eight there. And they would have to put those at a regulation distance apart. So for any wall, say a wall there, let's say that that's say 10 feet or 12 feet, that panel, there would have to be one, uh, one, of the, one of the ties, the wire ties, they would have to be say every, I don't know, say every foot, say every two feet. There'll be a, a legal requirement and when you start to do the work, you start every stage, they send an engineer, an inspector around and, and he passes, he, he, he signs you off on that particular kind, on uh, that particular uh, work. So when you've dug the footings, you have to have an inspection. So then he comes along and he said, yes, those footings are right. They're so wide and so deep and that's the code. So you're good to go. And then you put in uh, the hard core and then on top of the hard core, you put a bed of concrete. And that concrete goes around and it would look like that when it's finished. Now, in the UK, they don't use rebar like this. They, they don't use it. They, as I said, they, they build cavity walls and in between the cavity they have the, the figure of eight ties and that's what they use. So it's a different way of building and they wouldn't do a single skin wall like that. Probably because they have brutal winters. So having that cavity there makes a huge difference between having the house warm or not. It, ideally it should be cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And here, here is going to be his run up for the truck, car, whichever it will be. So they've gone to some trouble here to make sure that when the rain comes it will drain off in a certain way. So you can see that it will come around along the top there and hopefully this uh, little wall of, uh, of gravel material that's going to be used for the concreting either that or down in this groove here and you'll get a runoff for the water so it goes off there and doesn't pour in through the house. So nice tree that's going to be left there, nice coconut tree is going to be left. See very pretty, beautiful. So there you can see what their answer was to having uh, the, the earth go right up against the wall. Uh, it, I, in my, in my uh, experience working in the UK, that, that would not be okay. I um, personally would love to have seen a walk away all around the house, which regrettably might have, have seen uh, the demise of that uh, coconut tree, which is a lovely coconut tree, wouldn't really want to see the back of that. So, but it would have made it easier to service that row, that uh, wall at the back, rather than have water going in, soaking into the earth, and then in through the wall. We have problems in the UK with with damp coming up through the ground, and along. Along the bottom of every wall, you have a flat piece of uh, of rubber, and that rubber come. Uh, it's a special special damp proof. It's a a horizontal damp proof course, and the damp course has to go in. It has to be un uninterrupted, and that prevents the the damp from coming up and traveling all the way up through the wall, uh, which uh, you know for my uh, pitiful uh, knowledge of these things is called the capillary action and that is that the dry will suck up the wet. So that's where we are now. 
not a, a whole lot to report other than the leveling out and cleaning up of the site. James has now left. He left yesterday, I believe, uh, for America. He's uh, kind of dashing backwards and forwards, uh, which is no mean fit in itself. He's dashing backwards and forwards between here and the US where he is uh, fulfilling contracts with the company that he runs there. There we go. Okay, so that's the work in progress. Thanks for looking in. This has been a work in progress of, of James and Jessica's house, which is uh, which has been done in their in their, uh, in their absence with their agreement, of course, by for now. This is a foreigner in the Philippines.